We're going to be looking at constructive solid geometry models. And specifically, we'll use this part to take us through some examples. To get started, click File, Create a New, and we'll use a new from a list of templates. Make sure that you drop down your menus and select metric. We'll do a standard millimeter part and we'll click create. We want to double check to make sure that we're in the right settings so we can go to tools, document settings. And if you go to units, we'll see that we're in millimeters. We can change our linear dimension display to two decimal places. We don't need to be that accurate for millimeters. If we go to our sketch menu, Let's change our grid spacing just so we can play along. Let's do five millimeters in the X, five millimeters in the Y. And we'll do a major every five. Let's hit apply and then close. Let's go to our sketch menu at the top. We'll start a 2D sketch and we're going to draw this on the XZ plane. So click the XZ plane. We'll draw a rectangle and double check your orientation if you feel like it's off you can flip your part in the right direction then my x is going right i'm going to draw my profile in space and from here all i need to do is dimension the top side that's going to be 75 If you lose your part, just drag it back over. And this side is going to be 50 millimeters. All right, we're not fully constrained, so we need to lock this in a position. We'll choose the coincident constraint. Click this point and this point, it has turned black. We can finish our sketch. Or to move a little quickly, we can use E on the keyboard for extrude. We're going to extrude this part in one direction, 15 millimeters, and you should be able to see your part preview. I'm gonna hit okay. And we've just used a rectangular prism as our base. Uh, don't forget to go through as you work and change the names of your sketches and your extrusions. Our next step is to create a full cylinder through this part. We're going to use the circle to do that. So let's start a 2D sketch. We'll flip our part upside down, click this bottom face, and we'll use the circle to hover over the edge of our part. You should be able to select the midpoint with that green dot, and then we'll just drag it to the edge. It should automatically constrain. If you're having trouble getting that constrained, you may have selected a plane instead of this surface of this block. Once that we have constrained this fully, again, I'm just going to hit E on the keyboard and extrude the entire cylinder. We're going to need to flip through and the height of this cylinder is 40 from the bottom of the part. And if we look at our output, it's cutting through and our final part is going to have this cut out. We actually want to combine these. So we're adding a cylinder to this rectangular prism. I'll hit OK, and I've merged the result. The next step is to put a hole through this part, and we'll do that with a 2D sketch to start. Click the top of your cylinder, and we're just gonna make another cylinder, and we can specify the center by clicking that origin. We'll create a 30 millimeter hole, and that should be fully constrained as well. I'll hit E on the keyboard, and if I just select the cut operation and click through all, I know I'll always have a hole through my part. I'll hit OK, and now I have three different extrusions that I can rename, three different primitive solid geometries, a rectangular prism, a cylinder, and another cylinder over to your 3D model uh, tab and select the hole command. We'll create another cylinder on this face here. And if you look, 
where we need to place this object, the diameter of our hole is going to be 20 millimeters. If we click position and look at this blue edge, we're going to click the top here. The distance between that we know is half, so we'll just do 50 over 2. My second edge is right here, and we're going to push this 30 millimeters in from this edge. When we go to our hole type, make sure it's a simple hole and there's no seat like a countersink or something like that. We want to make sure that it's through all and we've selected the correct diameter of our hole. If everything looks right, click OK. Our next step is to draw a rectangular prism all the way through to connect this part. So we can start a 2D sketch. We can click on this face and we'll draw a rectangle by hovering over the edge. Make sure not to snap to a midpoint or an end point. So I'll click this edge, hover over this edge, and now I can dimension out my uh, rectangular prism by hitting D on the keyboard. I know that the diameter of my point to point and the diameter of that hole was 20 millimeters. So the rectangle should be the same. If I take my 50, and subtract the 20 millimeter hole, I should get the total distance left over. And I'm just going to divide that by 2. So now I've created an equation for the distance of this edge. I'll hit check. And that should be centered. I will also extrude this through. This is going to be a 2 operation. And we're going to click the face of our cylinder or our hole. That way, if we adjust any of these parameters, it's always going to go through. I'll hit OK. And I've now completed the basics of this part.